Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm using my Red Iguana practice hand and I'm going to do a nice funky purple and blue set. So I'm going straight in. I've built and sculpted my clear base and now I'm using Mr. Wonka from CJP. This is a pre-mixed uh, super fine glitter. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a holographic purple. I absolutely adore it. It's got great coverage and the mix ratio is absolutely spot on. So you can work with it perfectly so i'm just building that up and then i'm coming in with this absolutely beautiful glitter that i ordered from glitter arty nails and i'm pretty sure it's called christmas tinsel it's absolutely stunning i want it all over my nails like right now it's so so pretty so i'm just going to place that on top of that purple um and just thin layers and then i'm going to leave that to set and move on to the next nail. look how beautiful it is Oh, I just love it. I just love it. I seen it on the website and I was like, I need that. I need it in my life. So I ordered it. So I'm just building up tiny thin layers, tiny beads of crystal glass, and then just nudging that glitter into place. Stopping to talk to someone. <laughs> and then giving it the famous wiggle. And then onto the index finger, I'm coming in with birthday suit. I'm placing the bead at the cuticle and I'm getting my brush behind that bead and I'm tapping it into the cuticle and dragging it away from the skin. And then blending that bead down. And then I'm going to pick up two colours. I'm picking up bright violet and the blue um, colour change. Oh, I think it's just called blue teal. Um, and then I'm just picking them two colours up together and just taking it around a side swoosh, dragging the colours through each other. And then I'm going to come in with that beautiful glitter at the tip, the Mr. Wonka. And then again, coming in with the tinsel mix over that purple. So now we're going to do the pom-pom cameo nail, cameo, camo, camouflage, pom-pom, God knows. Anyway, we're going to do, we're going to do the pom-pom nail. So all I'm doing is using my Nailmate size 5 brush, picking up a bead of the blue teal, the bright violet, and I'm slapping a bit of apple shine in there as well, just because why the hell not? Um, and a bit of that Mr. Wonka. And I'm just literally pasting, placing beads of these around the nail. Um, all the way down until I get to the very tip. As you can see, placing it on, leaving it alone and moving on to the next bead. Trying to keep it so it's appealing to the eye. So trying to make sure the colours, um, you know, like go round in a line. So there's not too many colours of purple all to each other or apple shine all clumped together. So I'm just going to let you watch because there's not really much I can add to this bit now. I did like cut out a little bit because it was getting a bit repetitive um, and just show you as I get to the end of the nail. Ta-da! And just like magic, we are done. So I'm just going to place the last few little beads on the tip of that nail. And I am going to cap this nail just to make it all nice and smooth. Because obviously, as you can imagine, it's quite bumpy at the minute. Um, and I'm just literally going to leave that nail as it is. And I'm going to move on to the middle finger now. And the middle finger is going to be a extended small line. So I'm placing my bead of birthday suit bringing it down where I want my smile line to sort of end or finish to, pressing the back of that bead in so it's blended nicely onto the nail plate and then using the belly of my brush to tuck and push up, push, push, push up the smile line wall. I'm trying to get and gouge where I want my wings and a little tip and trick is just get your client to turn their hand around and you can kind of see if it's nice and central and where you want your, uh, if it looks good from that sort of view. I'm then going to come in with my cuticle bead and then an apex bead to build it up because obviously we're not going to cap the um, smile line area. So I'm just going to do that now. 
I will go back and encapsulate the other nails whilst I leave the smile line to set because I don't want to be filing and getting any of that file dust into my nice beautiful glitter nails. So I'm using the same method of picking up all three of the bees except I've added apple shine into the mix this time. I wish I probably would have put a little bit on the index finger but it was too late, it was already done. So I'm just picking up those beads, dragging them up through each other and filling in the, the French. Um, and then I will just apply a little bit of that glitter as well um, on that tip and then I will just encapsulate the very tip of that nail and then I did go ahead off film and file the nails um, and then I am going to top coat the nails and I've left a little clip at the end for you to see the final result I absolutely adore them and I am definitely having that glitter next on my nails because I adore it I will leave a link to where to get it from in the description box uh, but look at it, I just absolutely love, 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 love it. And there's the little sweet pom-pom nail. Simple yet effective. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching my video. I hope you've enjoyed this quick, super design. If there's any videos you'd like me to see, as always, just leave them in the comment section below. Um, and interact, I do try and answer or reply, and I do see and... Um, love heart all of your comments because i do appreciate any interaction that i do get on here um i love you all so much and i'll see you all again in my next video Bye bye